sitting here with Nolan Watson, member of the Centralia Community College baseball team. And uh, Nolan, first question I have for you: you know, You're from Centralia, so what's it like to play for your hometown college? Oh, uh, it's a it's a great it's a great feeling. I uh, always wanted to go here as a kid. Didn't end up coming here out of high school, but. Um, I'm, I'm really happy I got to come back and be a part of this program for a year. And then, you know, here you are, you're playing the alumni game, you know, getting to see guys who have played, some of them recently, and some of them, you know, it's been a few years since they've been on the mound or in the field. Mm -hmm. What's it like to see guys coming back and uh, really supporting you guys? It's an awesome feeling. I hope to do this when I'm their age, and um, it gives us a good look, too. They, they can all play a good ball right there. John just got a hit. I mean, it's a good competition, and it's, it's good to keep giving back to the – the school, I feel like, if that you alma mater of, you know. And then, you know, fall ball, obviously, it doesn't count for the record, but at the same time, it's it's important for development and getting things uh, worked on. What are some things you're focusing on this fall and hoping to use uh, come springtime? Hmm. Well, I'm hoping to uh, get on track with some fastballs, which you can't do any other way besides see live pitching. So in the fall, I'm scrimmaging a lot. This alumni game, other things like that, getting on time with real, you know, from the mound pitching is big. And just the whole getting to know these guys that I'm playing with, going to battle with, uh, it's the fall is a great time for that. You get to get that camaraderie going. Um, just the team chemistry part in the fall is big. It's a big, big time for for team chemistry in the building. And you're talking about team chemistry because you know things are a little different this year. New head coach and uh, a lot of young guys coming in. So what's it like to have uh, Coach Atkinson here? And, and what kind of mentality have you seen change uh, here at Centralia? Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of accountability. He's, he's a great guy. A lot of people respect him. Every kid on the team respects him, including myself. And um, we're going to follow him. As a, I mean, he's a great leader. So he's brought a lot of new tech, new routines, new drills, and more importantly, new. Um, the mindset, new mindset to the whole entire culture here at Centralia. It's going to be, a, yeah, he's a great leader. You know, and then, you know, here you are at the college level. You, you know, talent going to get you so far, you got to actually push yourself and, and get better. Who in your life has been that motivator and that person to push you to get this far? Uh, my dad always has been. We've been out backyard playing catch or him hitting me grounders or pitching to me and hitting. And my whole life, yeah, he's he's been my life coach kind of a guy. And, um, no, definitely my dad, and you know, along the way, other coaches have stepped in. Rex Ashmore for the high school, and now Atkinson is a great leader to, you know, someone to believe in you is a is a great thing to have as a leader. I feel like. Uh, uh, yeah, I would agree with that. And you know, here you are. You know, you you have you said your dad's motivated you, but has there ever been a like a major league player that you kind of looked at and said, you know, I kind of like their style, whether it's their their approach to the game or just their overall, you know, uh, maybe they're a dirt dog that type of thing. Is there a guy you looked at and said, you know, what, I like that guy. I kind of want to model my game after that. Kind of like Josh Donaldson. I've always liked his um, just bring your lunch pail to work kind of mentality and confidence. I, like, I mean, confidence is a big one in all sports, and uh, he's a guy that I've kind of mirrored growing up or this last couple of years since he's been in the league and tearing it up. But lately I've been watching him. And also Manny Machado, who's another third baseman guy that I've always tried to kind of mimic. He's smooth and confident, but... Any of those big leaguers, for, I mean, they all have the work ethic to get there, and that's what it, that's what you like to look up to. Yeah, no doubt. And last question I have for you, you know, obviously there's always kids out at the ballpark watching games. What advice do you have for those young players who are saying, no, I want to play at the college level as well? Listen to your coaches. Uh, be open to learning new things. Every, every, you can always be learning new things about the game. Um, every coach has something to offer, and uh, every teammate has something to offer. Be watching and be learning and be observing. I mean, that's that's what I've kind of always done my whole life as I go. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.